Mom, Dad, I humbly suggest you save some money and shop Amazon for back to school. It's for my growth, meaning my body's growing at an alarming rate. And clothes you buy me this year will be very small very soon. Plus, the clothes I love today will be out of style tomorrow. But at least your wallet doesn't have to be my fashion victim if you shop low prices for school at Amazon. Hopefully this is helpful. Amazon. Spend less, smile more. Welcome to Saturday Story Circle, always on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. You're listening to Saturday Morning Media, and now, back to our show. This show is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons. If you'd like to see this show continue, consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. And thank you for your support. Say, kids, how would you like to build your very own Driftwood Gulch action playset? Stay tuned after the show to find out how. Saturday Morning Theater proudly presents The Tales of Deputy Guppy. Return with us now to the thrilling days of not too long ago when the West was wild and the rivers in the West were even wilder. Luckily, there was one fish to maintain law and order, one fish to reel in those who dare disturb the peace and tranquility of Driftwood Gulch, one fish to stand for truth, justice, and honor in the untamed rivers of the Wild West. Deputy Guppy! Today's adventure, The Trout Village. Deputy Guppy and his best friend Ringo were on their way out to the Trout Village on the outskirts of town. They were investigating the disappearance of a hundred head of sea cattle from rancher Linus Stoddard's farm. Gee, Gup, do you really think the trout are the ones behind the rustling of the cattle? I reckon they could be, Ringo, but I, I doubt it. But what about that arrow that Linus Stoddard found on his property? That arrow could have wound up there any number of ways. I'm not afraid to tell you, Gup. I'm a little nervous riding right out into the trout village. There ain't nothing to be worried about, Ringo. The trout I met last week was a fine fish, and I'm sure the rest of them are as well. Well, I guess if you say so, I'm just glad we're bringing our pistols. Now, you leave your pistol right where it is, Ringo. I don't need you getting all jumpy-like and pulling it out, and... Well, you know the relationship between the trout and the town's fish is as strained as it is. We don't need a pistol going off in their village to make matters worse. I guess you're right. I just hope we can get to the bottom of this and get back to Aunt Pike's before her flake bread cools off. <laughs> I know you, Ringo. You'll take Aunt Pike's flake bread, whether it's warm, cold, or three days old. As long as there's some flake bread to eat, you'll eat it. Well, I reckon you're right, Cub. Now, I'd love to... Oh, oh, look, look there. Look, we got a trout riding up on us. So we have. Let's hold up right here. Whoa, Whoa cactus. Whoa, there, boy. Whoa. What do we do, Cub? What do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? Well, should we draw our pistols? No, I told you, do not draw your pistol. Well, what are we going to do if we don't? He's getting closer. We're going to talk to him. Oh, talk to him? That's right. He's my friend. Greetings there, Atsadi. Ah, my friend Deputy Guppy. So good to see you again. Oh, it's good to see you. Uh, this here is my pal, Ringo. Hello. Ringo, it is my pleasure to know you. Any friend of Guppy is a friend of mine. <laughs> well, how do you like that? Tell me, Guppy, what brings you and Ringo out this way? Not good news, I'm afraid. There's a rancher on the south end of Driftwood Gulch. He has many sea cows. Mm, I know of this fish and his ranch. He is greedy, always trying to push us trout off our land. Uh, I guess you do know him. Last night, a hundred head of his sea cattle were taken. This is serious. A fish's belonging should remain his, even if that fish is full of greed. Yes, unfortunately, he found this near where his sea cattle were taken off the property. Hmm, a trout arrow. Yes, sir. And it seems he's now under the impression that it was the rainbow trout that took his sea cattle. This is a very serious accusation. But I know of no reason any of us would want to steal from this fish. We go out of our way to stay out of his. And just the same, I'm wondering if you have any idea on how that arrow might have wound up on his property. Just because it was a trout arrow on this fish's property does not mean it was the trout that fired it. 
that was the one who stole his cattle. I understand this, Hatsadi. Do you have any idea which trout this arrow might belong to? I do. Well, who is it then? It is mine. Yours? Yes. I fired the arrow you now hold in your hand. Is this startling fact true? Does the arrow belong to Deputy Guppy's friend, Atsadi? If it does, does that mean he's behind the mysterious disappearance of Linus Stoddard's hundred head of sea cattle? You'll have to tune in and find out in the next exciting episode of The Tales of Deputy Guppy! Episode number 106 of The Tales of Deputy Guppy starred Grandpa Choco as Deputy Guppy, Chris Sheets as Ringo, Jim Rule as Atsadi, and Kevin Burnson as the narrator. Music for this episode by Dan Ring. Say kids, did you know that every episode of The Tales of Deputy Guppy comes with a piece of the Driftwood Gulch action playset that's all ready for you to download, print, color, cut, and assemble? All you gotta do is head on over to DeputyGuppy.com and click on the link for the free PDF in the post for this episode. Once you add this new building to your playset, we would love to see a picture of it. Send a picture of your Driftwood Gulch action playset to hello at SaturdayMorningMedia.com and stay tuned for more buildings and figures coming with future episodes so you can build your very own Driftwood Gulch. The Tales of Deputy Guppy is a production of Saturday Morning Media and is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly pledge for as little as a dollar a month. Huge thanks to Shay Stewart, Mer Lafferty, Jeff Peterson, Dale Gadania, Stephen Staver, Jackie Clemo, Melissa Crawford, Dave Slusher of the Evil Genius Chronicles, Mike Coughlin, Dorothy Bachoco, John D., Kathy Crawford, Brian Greer, Carrie Whitney, Chuck Tomasi from the Technorama Podcast, Chris Foster, Stephen Ng, Clinton of ComedyForecast.com, Vicky DeVries, Mike Wabshaw, Twitter user Butts and Gear, a.k.a. Wildcat, Eve Cunning, Mike Hamilton, Gaston Moreno, Reed Loveland, Ivan Asquith, Vanessa Whitney, Peggy Etra, Kristen Hogan of Squid Friends, David Akers, Zoe Palladino, Ellen Multari, Christopher Harris, Rachel Jackson of Vox Fabuli Puppets, Carolyn Weisner, John Petty, Rachel Hansen, Darcy Prevost, Fernando Torres, Ron McAdams, Pearly Q Magic, Jason Domer, Cora Goodall, Lee Barrett, Casino Skunk, The Misty Minute, Peter Capesser, Night Gig Studios, Joel Rechtfertig, Adrian Rose Leonard, Earth to John Francis, RJ, Ginger J. Fitz, Megapodtastic, Paul Brunel, Jimmy Hitchcock, Catherine Hannaford, Alan Gratz, Rachel Gibbis, John R. Donald, and Jude Major. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly pledge today. You can also tell a friend about the show or leave the show a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. The Tales of Deputy Guppy is copyright 2018 Saturday Morning Media Grant Pachogo Executive Producer. All rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. From all of us here at the Mutual Audio Network, We thank all our listeners and creators for making us an award-winning home for four seasons of audio drama and audio fiction.